feeling pretty tough here on Rio and in the Keys as I go out with my buddy, Officer David Dupre, who's with the FWC. Our fish and wildlife, our grouper troopers, today are lobster mobsters. Not quite the case. Lobster mini season. So we go out today, and this is one of David's favorite times of year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There you go. Well, we're going to go out and uh, just making sure everybody's legit, and we'll go over rules and regulations throughout the show. So come on aboard. You're invited with us. Let's go. All right, I'll get close to where I think you're talking about, see if I can spot you, and then uh, we'll watch him a little longer. What, what just happened there, Dave? We didn't get a, even pushed off the dock, and you got a phone call from Yeah, we got, a, we got a phone call from one of our UCs, Cal. Ooh. Undercovers. And uh, what we're going to do is head down towards the 35-mile um, marker, down to West Summerland, and see if we can find a couple of divers that have no dive flag, which is sometimes indicative of somebody trying to hide something. Now, the reason the undercover guys didn't go up to them themselves, they don't want to kind of blow their cover for just a dive flag violation? Right, right. It's not worth it. They'll stay undercover, they'll run around and uh, keep watching things and then call me when they see something. And we're not going to show those guys on film today, are we? No, I'm just going to talk to them. And I'll know who they are, though. They'll be the mystery men that you will not see on camera. Nice. Gentlemen, how you doing? Put your feet inside the boat. Even though you got a rail around there, the fact of the matter is, if you slip out from under that for some reason or you catch a wake, there's no way he can stop that boat. That's one. We we didn't get we didn't get 20 feet out of the uh, coming out of the cut here at Bay of Honda, and we've already pulled somebody over for bow riding. No, no, no. That's one. One minute into it, one violation. SpongeBob, I saw these guys yesterday somewhere. All right, and uh, what's the uh, what's the uh, issue here, Dave? Well, as you see, the dive flag is on the gunnel. That's fine for me at this point because I'm coming right up to him. I can see the dive flag, but anybody else coming from, you know, that direction, 180 degrees, can't see their dive flag, doesn't know they've got divers. Gentlemen, good afternoon. Well, not too bad, except your dive flag. It's in the wrong place, sir. It needs to be on top. If you hook it to one of your outriggers or put it up there, you go, perfect. Just put it in one of your rod holders. That way it's visible 360 degrees around. Everybody can see it. Makes a lot of sense, huh? <laughs> you know, I bet you that's why they wrote the rule that way. <laughs> I bet you that's what they did it for. You guys take it easy. See you around. Where are your divers right now? OK, nobody out right? In that case, take your dive flags down then if you don't have anybody out. That's why they wrote the rule that way, too. <laughs> All this common sense today, just going crazy. <laughs> See you, man. Be good. You got divers in the water right now? I'll tell you, take your dive flag down, please. Thank you. Well, this is a good example. We're coming to a little cut here, and uh, you see divers all over it. It's not exactly a, a law against diving in a marked channel, is there? Not necessarily. The only problem with diving in a marked channel would be that you start to impede the flow of traffic, and if, if it's a narrow channel, vessels are put in a position where they they may very well end up hitting you as a diver. So the best thing to do is stay away from the marked channels, yep. um, and then you'll be fine. It also impedes the flow of traffic. It's a heavily, if it's a heavily traffic channel, mm -hmm. divers in the channel are going to slow everybody down, and uh, people have reasons to get back and forth. Great. And there's plenty of other places to dive besides a marked channel. <laughs> also, you'll see the different dive flags here. You'll see the small dive flags. They're toting around with them on the, on the lanyard, and then you have the bigger ones on the boat. Um, that's the way it's supposed to be done. The big one has to be displayed on the boat. So it's not against the law to have a boat unmarked as long as you're towing one of those dive right. flags. He wouldn't need that dive flag right now mm -hmm. if these are his divers because they've got their dive flag right there with them. Smart. And they're within the required. Not a problem with overkill, feet. though, I tell you. No, no, it's best that way, especially in a season like this where everybody's going through this whole area. Well, it's definitely a dive flag. I see two, definitely three perps. Is that, is that the way you talk, Dave? Yeah, that's the way we talk. That's, that's two, how we talk. maybe three. Eyeball, two. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hey. There you go. Get your divers in your boat and come over here now. 
Bring your wine slings, bring your spear guns, bring everything with you. Come over to the boat right now, this way. Come on over to the boat here. You know you gotta have this boat registered, right? What happened? You gotta have numbers on this boat. It's gotta be registered. You got a no you got a motor on it, you gotta register it. Nice, nice lobster, man. And there's your oar. Go to it. Uh, Alright, fellas, see. have a nice time. Enjoy yourselves, guys. Yeah. There you go. You're gonna get two more guys in there too? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Bye -bye. A couple of young guys out diving, no dive flag. Actually, four guys out diving, no dive flag, and a little rubber inflatable boat. They had a motor on the back, which means they have to register the boat. Well, it wasn't registered, but they could easily take the motor off. So that fixed that problem. Now it's no longer motorized, there's no violation. But as far as you can see, as far as anyone can see, there's no dive flag here. So I did give them a citation for the dive flag. It's a $58 fine, and they decided they're going to go buy a dive flag before they get another fine. It's just a good idea. Keep your uh, fishing license with you, or at least in the boat at all times. Yeah, right? keep your fishing license with you. Ten four you ten ninety eight fifty. Ten four one India. We have a. Uh, Officer Ferris Livesey with the FWC. I thought we were good by busting people the minute we rolled out of here. Midnight last night was when you can officially go out for mini lobster season. You were out at 11.30. You can only buoy net, you can't dive in the water. And what did you find? Uh, I got a, one guy with 31 at 11.30, and he was there with his three kids, so he's over the bag limit even if it was. <sighs> Even if it was open season, but it wasn't open season, so. That's actually a great shame, night of bully netting. Shame, shame, yeah. shame, 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 everyone shame, knows your name. Shame, shame, yeah. Oh, well, Ferris, good work, man. Good uh, work. Keep you. up the great work. Okay, hey, I'm Officer David Dupre with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. And I came down here to the Florida Keys 13 years ago. And my hope was to, uh, to just enjoy the Keys. I never thought that I'd be with the early Marine Patrol and now the FWC, but it's worked out so well for me. I love my job, I love being down here, I love being on the boat. When I first started with the FWC, I was a sanctuary officer, and the primary job of the National Marine Sanctuary officers are to go up and down the Keys, to hit the reef lines, and, and do special preservation areas, the sanctuary preservation areas. Now, um, as, a, as a regular FWC officer, the, the job I have is to work near shore waters, and um, I, I think it's fantastic. I meet a lot of people. I do a lot of uh, radio and TV with my friend Cal back here. Uh, I don't want to talk about that too much. It kind of upsets my stomach. But anyway, the best part about it is just all the autonomy we have, all the great things we get to do, meeting the people and reinforcing the, the environmental rules and the, the fisheries rules of the Florida Keys. Ferris just turned us on over this boat here that just came in, this little uh, sea sport. So we're going to go take a look at them. So let's check and see what they've got here. There you go. Let me take a look if, if they're bugs, if you don't mind, real quick. No, not a problem. I got, I mean, I got, three le I got the head in my hand and the three heads here. Yeah, let me see that one right one. there. This one right here. You got him? Um, yeah, I got him. I'll put a gauge on him just to make sure he's close. close. Yeah, he better make, make it, though, being in my boat. He made it. <laughs> I mean, I, he knew made one, it. I knew one of them was close, but I might. I mean, you know what would help? I was going to ask you a favor, too. If, rather than put the heads in, if you don't mind making another trip out, back. if you don't no, mind, no, that'd be great. If you see others doing it, I mean, it's just so helpful because this builds up and builds up with a lot of stuff, a lot of pollution, a lot of heads down here. And then we get calls about people wringing heads and tails. We come down here and say, no, it's legal, you know. Now you're doing it legal. That'd be great if you would do that. Again, my job. I always get the best jobs. Bumper guy. Woo! That was some fine bumper action, Cal. Don't mess with me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you rock, dude. Ah, freaking hell. Well, yeah, I don't ask much, you know. I only ask, even if they're small, that's okay. No, 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 no. We'll check those too, you know, that's fine. The gentlemen here with me are from Comcast Television Show. And that's our helo up there. So anyway, the reason I stopped you guys was this. When I was coming from that direction, all I saw was a boat sitting out here with a bunch of people on it. I couldn't see a dive flag because everybody's standing up on the boat and the bimini obscure your dive flag. You have to get that up higher for me, okay? If you uh, lash it to, you know, use some tie straps and put it to the top of your bimini here somehow, whatever you can do, but you gotta get it up higher. Because nobody else knows you're diving except the guys coming from this direction. Yeah, some zip ties. You got some? That'd be great right there. That's perfect. That's perfect. 
Now, how many bugs do you have? I think several. All right, let me take a look and see what you got. Come on, baby. I will loan your glove. You know I have one, but I try this out for a while until I get stung up enough that I uh, say, all right, you know, I'm just going to start wearing a glove now. But the reason I stopped them again was because of the dive flag. That, that's, I think that's the biggest attractor. If you see somebody in the water this time of year, mask and snorkel, no dive flag, sure. it especially catches your attention. It's the first thing you look for. Yep. And that gives you the excuse, uh, to, or you don't need an excuse, but check the lobster. They were totally fine. Seven lobster right. are all legal. And then, of course, nine people on board on a 21-foot boat, you automatically ask. It's a concern. Jackets. It's a concern, yeah. Well, on a very serious note, uh, we've had 20 dive deaths in the Florida Keys since last year's mini lobster season. From July of last year to this year, right. 20 dive-related deaths, uh, everything from deep diving, technical divers who know better, uh, health issues, snorkeling, uh, people panicking. So we've had many situations. Already, we hope for a safe dive season, but already, uh, what, two hours, three hours in the daylight, we've already lost somebody. Yeah, 7 o'clock this morning, there was a, um, a gentleman who ended up having a heart attack. And, you know, of course, there's a lot of things that have to be go have to go through to, to confirm everything that I'm telling you right now. But it appears that there was a heart attack victim this morning. He went into the water. His family said he was fine, from what I understand. But then he did not uh, surface properly, and apparently they got him into the boat. And EMTs worked on him at the scene. They, they had people out there, Good Samaritans, who helped. Uh, our officers got on scene. The EMTs and our officers transported them back to the to the to the boat ramp. They got him to the Fisherman's Hospital, and shortly thereafter, uh, the gentleman died. You know, I just think people, when they come here, they get so excited. Two days, so there's a, a deadline of what you can do. Try to get your lobsters. You spend a lot of money to come down here. You don't realize that you're diving in 85 to 90 degree water temperature. Uh, there's current almost everywhere here in the Florida Keys. You insert yourself. It's just like jogging on the water. And uh, you could definitely, if you do it once a year, Dave, how many people do you see when you ask them, oh, well, we only dive once a year? Yeah. It's a very dangerous situation. I mean, a lot of people are not in the best of shape anymore. I mean, you hear, you hear the statistics all the time, how many people are out of shape. And diving requires a lot of effort, a lot of physical effort goes into it. And people just aren't ready to do that many times. You're going to have to stop right now. We have, there's a tailing permit over here. Some of, some of these bridges are a little more difficult. For example, this bridge right here where we are, uh, Spanish Harbor Bridge, you can use the ends for fishing, but the, our, our undercover guys can't get out here toward the middle. So here they are. We've got a couple boats sitting under the bridge, which our undercover guys aren't going to see, and they can't get out to the middle to see anything. So we're just going to try and sneak up very quietly, hope this guy keeps his back turned to us, and see what these divers are doing. And it's maybe, laying down, so I don't think it's going to be too Now it's getting easier. That's right. It's, it's much easier that way. So now we're going to see if we can make a case. We don't know if they got spear guns. We don't know what they have. I don't see a dive flag on this boat. That's a violation. And uh, let me see what else we have here. I'm going to be very, very quiet now. Very, 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 very quiet. quiet. I don't want them to know I'm here. Gentlemen, where are your divers? Where are your divers? No divers in the water here. There were some divers here a minute ago. Right there. And does he have a dive flag up? Yes, he does. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. There you go. That's nice. OK. Now you measured them right, right? OK. Since it's kind of hop and pop kind of situation, I see one right there, the one closest to the back there. This one? Yep. Hand me that one just to make sure. Yeah, he's good. OK, when you pull him out, I can see he's good. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You guys are doing great. And you have fishing licenses with you, right? Yeah. Can I see those quickly, please, also? I only say quickly because it's just not a good idea to sit here under the bridge. That would be her. You look like an Nancy. OK, I can. Another Robert. Great, great, great. <laughs> Does he look nervous? He looked back at me, double take. Mmm, interesting. You uh, see anybody uh, like doing the old fashioned 
doing something below the gunnel where you no, can't see? No, I don't see anything happening below the gunnel. I don't see them jumping up on plane and trying to run from me, so I'm guessing... <laughs> would that be a telltale that, sign? I would take that as a clue of an attempt to deceive me in some way, or to elude me in some way. Hmm. That's just how I look at it. Would flipping you the bird in the process of fleeing be a clue? Yes, I would take that as a clue too. Holy mackerel, look at that piling coming up on me. Officer Dave just ran over a diver. We're, we're seeing if we can get him out of the problem. Cal? It's not ugly. I mean, it's very ugly. It's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. Are you doing anything constructive? <laughs> no, no, his, his foot's still stuck right there, Dave. Right in oh, the prop. I thought we got him out. No, no, he's, he's still in there. He's still in there. Oh, cut the cameras off. Maybe Good, 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 that's fine. Everything looks good size. The name of this boat is Sting Key. It says Sting, Sting <laughs> S-T-I-N on one side and then Key on the other side, so. They that's all look great. like good size heads, so, uh, you know, that's just a good sign that people are getting legal size lobster, of course, you know. Yep. If you look at all the tails, I mean, some of these tails are huge. Oh, yeah. yeah, we got a couple of big ones out there. Look at the size of this tail. That's nice. Yeah, those now, are Dave, great. it's customary to, uh, when you check tails for people to give you, what, 10% Yeah, we of the get take? 10, 15% 10, usually on the take, right. and that's, uh... Yeah. That awesome. <laughs> Welcome to the Keys. Well, yeah, that's right. You know, you're, you're probably uh, not from in town, and uh, we'll see. And then the other thing is to, they measure them from that, and that's that. thing. Yeah, they used to. Really? And actually, that, that's still legal. If, if, if the tails are small, but the carapace is primary the case. I found there was one today. See, oh, they're all more than five inches. They're all doing great. Can I take sure a look at your books? Sure. Awesome. All the people. Nine, nine people, 54 lobsters, six for Beautiful. And they're all nice size, too. Look at those. Yeah, all content. Oh, contents? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're all good out there. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think yeah. there's a lot of small out there right now, either. Those are great. Work it out. Ouch, that hurt. They're good. You want them, you put them in a the bucket here? You going to haul them out in the bucket? Yeah. You going to take yeah, them out? Okay. Grab me the cooler. I'll just throw them in the cooler and count them and look at them all and make sure they're good to go. That way we do it one time instead of twice. <laughs> Four. If you get a really good one of the larger ones, we're going to use that as a way in for the Six. secret. Fifteen. Come on, man. Yeah, one year I did it and gave my... Yeah, there you go. Nice. This is 16 right there. Maybe he might win you. 16. Yeah. That 17. <clears throat> I got some scrapes here. As well. You guys obviously aren't rookies of this, huh? You come down every year? Been doing it for like 35 years. Have you? Good yeah. for you. Good for you. It's nice to have tradition like that. It is. Well, we got the kids. Yeah. We're, you know, indoctrinating a whole new. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. 34. We only deal with content. And then I stay away from all the craziness. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. People... No, those are great. All of them are fantastic. You got some really nice ones there, too. Yeah. 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 We would do it that way for you. Good. Yeah. We don't play the game any other way. How you doing today? Good. How is lobstering? I just saw them coming in from the bay side, and so, you know, incoming boat means they're probably finished up with what they're doing, so I thought I'd just check and see if they had anything. And they did. They had 12 lobsters, so they were within their legal limit, and they were all good which is great. So now they have the rest of the day to play around and then they'll come back out tomorrow. Now to cut down double tripping, and that's probably your biggest concern, that's the toughest thing to prove, is going out catching your legal limit, yeah. coming in at 11.30, going back out with no lobsters on your boat, doing it all again. And right. What did you do on his license, the paper license? I, I wrote on the paper license that they'd reached their max for the day. I put my radio ID number, the time and the day that they were stopped. And, you know, hopefully it's a deterrent. Other officers will see that and, and try and ask them, well, wait a second, weren't you stopped just at, uh, three or four hours ago? And why are you back out here again with another batch of lobsters? So trying to explain that is difficult for the individuals. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the show today. And Dave, uh, we're one quarter of the way through lobster mini season. How do you rate this one? Uh, you know what? It's not a bad season so far. Everybody's pretty cooperative. We haven't seen many people taking a lot of lobster. Mm -hmm. We have had a few arrests already this morning. It's uh, about 2 o'clock. I think we've already got four people in jail. Unfortunately, we have a fatality because of diving. So it could be worse. It could be worse. But it's going going all right, I think. Yeah, for the most part, people are catching lobster, uh, not running too far out. Uh, so it could be a very good lobster season for the commercial guys. Let's hope. I'm hoping.
Attaway. Thanks again, man. Appreciate care, all guys. your time. We'll see you next week on Reeling in the Keys. Thanks a lot. See you.